Let's go right off the top and talk about this Jason Statham thing. Now, we all know that there is a Fast and Furious spin-off film coming called Hobbs and Shaw that will focus on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character and Jason Statham's character. Now, somebody was asking him, what's going to be the difference? What's going to make this Hobbs and Shaw movie unique compared to, say, all the other Fast and the Furious films? What's going to be the big difference? And it sounds like believability may be the big difference. Here's what Jason Statham had to say about the differences between Hobbs and Shaw and Fast and the Furious. Statham said this, I think David Leach, he's one of the John Wick directors who of course also directed Atomic Blonde and now he's directing Hobbs and Shaw. I think David Leach's taste is a bit more grounded and a little darker. If you see Atomic Blonde and it's just superb, his taste is definitely in a world that is sort of how you describe it. I think he's looking to do something that doesn't look exactly like a fast movie. Although it's the fast characters, he's trying to do his own thing with it and really give it a sense of credibility. I think Dave is going to get this one gritty and real and fucking hardcore. Now, if any of you guys saw Atomic Blonde and obviously John Wick, you know what this director can do with action. He can do incredibly insane stuff with great action. He can do that. So all that kind of stuff. But here's the part of Jason Statham's comments that really stand out to me. The talking about being real, more grounded. What that says to me, and if you watch Atomic Blonde, and I do encourage you to watch Atomic Blonde. I like that movie. But if you watch Atomic Blonde, what Statham is describing they're bringing to Hobbs and Shaw sounds a lot like what they had in Atomic Blonde. As far as the action and all that kind of stuff goes. It felt gritty. It felt believable. You didn't have the action hero jumping 50 feet into the air onto a, you know, onto a platform above them. You didn't have somebody doing a quadruple spin back kick and all that kind of stuff. Atomic Blonde, while it was magnificent to watch, everything that they did on screen felt like, yes, you can do that. In Fast and the Furious, they bend the rules of reality a little bit, right? And that's, that's fine because that's one of the hallmarks of Fast and Furious now. But like, for instance, that one... You know, infamous shot about the car jumping five football fields from one building to the next is something that just wouldn't happen. And it sounds like the way Jason Statham is describing it, that Hobbs and Shaw is going to move away from that sort of suspend your disbelief kind of action to more gritty, raw, and maybe more grounded action like what we get in John Wick and like what we get in Atomic Blonde. When you get an action star like Dwayne Johnson, and a dude who's so good with action and so good at his on-screen martial arts and everything is Jason Statham, that could be very special. That could be very special. So look, I've been looking forward to this Hobbs and Shaw movie all along anyway, but hearing Jason Statham saying they're going to take that, that level of groundedness that doesn't seem to be in the Fast and Furious movies, and that's fine. That's fine for Fast and Furious. But bringing it more grounded, a little bit more real and gritty and darker for something like Hobbs and Shaw, I think that's great. To me, this is good news and I'm looking forward to it.